by doing that kasi you're helping that fiat to circulate back again in the system and also kapag inimpok mo yung pera mo sa savings account sa mga banko sa mga kooperatiba it means lumalaki yung pera mo Yo, so what is up guys? Welcome back again to my channel. If you're new here, then let me introduce myself first. I'm Gabriel Manuel and I make videos about personal growth, finance, and aesthetics. I also upload university blogs and interviews with people from all walks of life. Interesting? Then please click that subscribe button and click the notification bell for you to stay updated. Alright, let's begin. Char. So in today's video, we'll be talking about 8 money rules that you should know by now. So if you're like 15 or 17 years old by the time you're watching this video, then great, since you'll get to know this at an early age. And if you're like on your 20s or 30s, then bro, you should be listening to this by now since like, come on, we're in the same boat, man. And even if you're like, you're an adult na, then you can still listen to this one, you know? But guys, disclaimer lang ah, I am not a financial nor personal growth advisor, so please don't take my videos as professional advice. All of these are based on my experiences and my researches lang. So yeah, I highly advise pa rin to do your own research before diving into something completely new to you. Okay? Deal? Let's begin. Number one, talk about money. I really want this thing to be emphasized talaga eh. You know, it's a very common thing in a Filipino family that talking about money is a taboo. Like, there are parents na nagagalit sa kanilang anak kapag nag yung kanilang mga anak about their income. Tapos, they're saying pa like, ano akala nyo sa amin? Tumatay kami ng pera? Familiar. <laughs> like, dude, probably. <laughs> Kasi hindi naman talaga namin alam kung ano yung ginagawa nyo. Para kayo magkapera. Para tayo magkapera. I still remember nung bata ako, na inutusan ako ng teacher ko to have her documents be photocopied. Tapos, upon waiting, syempre, tinitingnan mo yung alley while doing that thing, di ba? Like, so I came up with this idea na baka print lang yung money natin. So I then asked Ale kung magkano yung photocopier. <laughs> so this might sound funny, but it's true. I mean, it's true na back then, I pretty don't know much about money and how they works and how we can generate it. Parang ganun. So guys, please help me make this thing, this talking about money thing to be not a taboo anymore. I mean, there's no harm naman talaga eh, when you talk about money. It is actually a healthy conversation lalong lalo na ako involve yung both parents and yung bata. Kaya maraming taong hindi marunong humawak ng pera nung nagka sweldo na sila, yung mga first sahod nila. Kasi hindi naman sila talaga tinuruan kung paano humawak nito. 2. Don't hoard money at home. When you save money kasi sa bahay, there is a big possibility na makukunan at makukunan talaga yon. I know lots of us are gusto makita yung ipo natin na nag accumulate over time. I mean, sino ba yung ayaw na tumititig sa stash natin, right? Pero when that money is just in front of us lang, tapos like, we're always active pa sa lahat ng 11, 11, 12, 12 na sales na yan, then I'm pretty sure that, girl, your money will go burp, burp. So I highly suggest to put your money in a savings account. If there's a cooperative near you, then go. By doing that, kasi you're helping that fiat to circulate back again in the system and also, kapag inimpok mo yung pera mo sa savings account, sa mga banko, sa mga kooperatiba, it means lumalaki yung pera mo. Number three, deposit your money in high interest savings banks. There's a lot of high interest savings banks right now. Sa ibang banko kasi, they offer like around 05 to 1.5% interest lang per annum. Compared to high interest savings bank na roughly 3 to 5% per annum. Okay, so maybe naliliitan lang kayo sa difference between 1.5 and 5%. So, magkaroon tayo ng example. So, halimbawa, you have a spare 1 million pesos. Tapos, you decided to put it in a regular savings account lang ng typical na banko na nag-offer ng 1.5% annually. So, after a year, yung 1 million mo magiging 1 million 15,000. Well, naka-accumulate siya ng additional 15,000 which is not bad. Pero like, kapag inilagay mo yung spare mo ng 1 million sa isang high interest savings account na nag offer ng 5% per annum, and after a year, that 1 million will become 1 million 50,000. So like, compare that 15,000 sa 50,000, 
That's more than threefold na, di ba? Ginagawa mo. Number four, know that there's this thing we call as inflation rate. We always hear this stuff since we are young, way back in elementary days, grade 2 yata ako nun. I always hear about inflation rate, inflation rate, inflation rate, pero hindi ko alam what inflation rate really is. So I, so I tried finding the answer. And it came out na meaning pala nun is like lumiliit ng lumiliit yung value ng money mo. So for me back then, it's not true. Kasi yung 10 pesos ko na baon, hindi ko ginasto. Tapos pag uwi ko sa bahay, 10 pesos pa rin. Still 10 pesos, yo! So I told myself na, ah, never mind them. Hindi yan totoo. <laughs> so enough for the story time. So according to Google, inflation rate is the percentage increase or decrease in prices during a specified period of time, usually a year. For example, the inflation rate of a gallon of gas is 2% per year. It means that after a year, the price of the gas will increase for roughly 2%. This is why yung 500 mo nung panahon ni Mokong Mokong ay pwede nang bumili ng lupa. Pero yung 500 mo ngayon ay kulang na lang to buy that Elder Flame Ultra Edition skin set for Valorant. So Gaboy, it is important to us to know what is inflation rate. Hmm, bakit nga ba? Well, so that hindi masayang yung savings natin. So let us say you have 100,000 nung 2016 and you decided to keep it lang inside your baol kasi ayaw mo talagang ilagay yan sa banko. Given the inflation rate in our country nung 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, at 2021, after 5 years, yung purchasing power ng 100,000 mo ay nasa 80,000 na lang. So that's what banks for. Well, for me, yan yung main na silbi nila. I mean, they help us to fight that inflation rate. Kasi kapag inilagay natin yung pera natin sa banko, magkaka-interest yan. So that will combat the inflation rate. Number 5. Be aware of investment scams. Study shows that people living in a developing country tends to fall in these scams in a higher rate compared to those people who live in a developed country. This is so true because number 1. We find talking money as taboo. So by avoiding money-related conversations, hindi tayo na-open at natututo about it. Number 2. We tend to love shortcut to financial freedom. It's a common Filipino trait talaga yung gusto ko maging millionario agad mentality. Where in fact, there is no shortcut to greatness naman talaga. Unless you're selling crocs, then apparently there's one. Pero guys, seriously, financial success is a gradual thing. Number 3. We have this crab mentality. I don't know if these people are familiar sa inyo. Like yung mga tao na alam na nila na yung pinasukan nila ay isang scam. Pero like instead of spreading the news na, Hey guys, huwag kayong pumasok dito kasi this, this type of shit is a scam. Instead of doing that, sinasabi pa nila na, Hey guys, sumama kayo dito, sumali kayo dito, pumasok kayo dito. Just for them to get their initial investments. Like, you guys a whole new level of masamang tao. So guys, just a friendly tip lang. I mean, you can kinda smell it if there's something fishy about that certain investment scheme. Eh. Una, if there's a recruitment, other call it as referral or like subordinate or like new members or whatsoever ano pang tawag nila. Basta you get it na. This means kasi na yung pera na nagsisirculate sa system nila ay galing lang sa mga bagong salta. So with this palang, it's an obvious pyramiding scam na. Second, if when there's an exact return of your investment in a specific period of time, marami ako nakikita sa Facebook na, hey guys, sumali kayo dito. Kasi like, there's a 3% daily gain ka sa portfolio mo. Like, dude, isipin nyo na lang yung bank ay nag-offer lang ng 1.5% per annum. Tapos ito, 3% daily. Fishy na yun. And lastly, this open-minded kaba thing. <laughs> okay, excuse my laugh, guys. If you have this old classmate ng elementary na hindi na kayo nag-uusap for almost a decade, tapos bigla lang siyang nag-chat or nag-text sa'yo, or like, you have this crush na always mong pinafollow sa IG, Twitter, Instagram, tapos hindi man lang nagre-reply or sinisin lang or ini-ignore lang yung mga messages mo pero suddenly these people nag-message sa'yo. Well, alam niyo na kung ano yan. Gob! 
sumali kami pero like nakakuha naman kami ng return of investments namin na lumaki naman yung pera namin na dumoble naman hindi yan totoo ba't mo kami sinisiraan so let's say meron kayong nakuha meron kayong return of investment it is because meron kayong bagong member so kapag wala ng bagong member this pyramid will collapse and those nasa ilalim will have a huge loss so better think it this way na lang na yung kinikita mo ay galing yan sa mga taong nasa ilalim na nagwi-wish nakikita rin pero like syempre magkukulaps na yung pyramid after that so sila yung mga taong hindi nakikita conscience, conscience, conscience alright, let's proceed number 6 have money goals so make sure na you're saving for something na you're up for something always bear na the main reason kung ba't inimbento yung money natin is that to give us an ease every time we buy or we sell a product or services so it is really better for you to set goals para naman mag make sense yung iniipon mo. I mean, hindi naman talaga tayo nag-iipon lang na, okay, iipon lang ako, nag-iipon lang ako. Ba't ka nag-iipon? Wala lang, trip ko lang, iipon lang ako. Tapos, wala. So, it's really better to have goals talaga. Like a car, kasi malayo ka sa working place mo. So, mas malaki yung gagastusin mo kapag magkukumute ka. Or like a house, kasi like, plano nyo na magbuklod ng ka-live-in partner mo. Or like, a decent amount of money para sa wedding nyo. Basta, anything like that, you know? Number seven, say no to that. Well, actually, debt is a good thing din naman. So, let me rephrase it na lang. Number seven, say no to debts na hindi mo kayang bayaran. Gets nyo yun, guys. It's a very, very, very self-explanatory. Huwag tayong utang na hindi natin kayang bayaran. Kasi like, dyan tayo lulubog. But guys, take note lang ha. When we make utang, make sure na hindi yan sa mga 5-6. Go to your banks or to your cooperatives kasi like maliban sa mas maliit yung interest rate na pinapatong nila, they also give dividends to their mga parokyano nila. And lastly, let your money work for you. So it means investment na and everything. So, feel ko nalagay ko na to sa previous video ko. Check nyo na lang sa channel ko. Right? So yeah, that's the eight money rules that you should learn by now. So if you guys learn something about it, then feel free to share this to your friends. Like this video, leave a comment in the comment section down below, and yeah, it really helps my YouTube algorithm because if you do that, and also there are referral codes in the description down below, especially for PDAX, Shopbox, PayMaya, Union Bank, and GCash. I hope you use that because like it's a win-win thing, de naman. Meron kayong free and meron din ako free. Thank you so much guys for watching and if you guys want to know more about me then feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I make updates there almost every day. So yeah, I guess that will be it for now. Maraming salamat guys and sana sabay-bay nyo pa ako sa journey ng buhay ko. Bye! God bless everyone! Mic test. One, two. All right. Okay, go. Mas magusisi, kasi nang sa ganon, bakak naman po, pwede siyang maibigay. Yung po si Dr. Eileen Espina ng Healthcare Professionals Alliance Against COVID-19. O SPAAC, uh, sinubukan po namin kuhanin ang panig ulit ni, uh, ng FDA. So in today's video, we'll be talking about 8 money. So in today's video, we'll be talking about 8 money rules that you should know by now. I am not a financial nor financial... I am not a financial nor personal health... Personal growth. I am not a financial nor personal growth... If there's a cop, if there's a cooperative near you, then it's a great investment. Then, number three, deposit your money in high-interest savings banks.